Hi, I'm Carter. I will be explaining my photos that I took for the Health Career Photography HOSA event. In the first photo is Tracy, a licensed dental hygienist who is scraping off calculus, removing irritant to prevent bone loss, and getting rid of biofilm from the patient's teeth to eliminate bacteria, allowing the gums to heal. Ways that connect this occupation to the healthcare system are, dental hygienists are the first line of defense against complications. They care for oral health, and if patients don't take care of their mouths, it can lead to many other complications and diseases within the body, such as cavities, halitosis, oral cancer, and gum disease. They encourage children and adults to care for their oral health. Lastly, if people take care of their mouths regularly, it can allow the hygienist to find other diseases and issues more quickly and clearly. In the second picture is Debbie, a registered nurse who is starting an IV on her patient prior to a radiological procedure. She used a sterile technique to insert the IV. The purpose of the IV is to administer antibiotics and hydrate the patient. It can also be used to sedate the patient during the procedure if required. Four ways that registered nurses are connected to the healthcare system are, they help patients set goals that will help them achieve personal improvements and understand the importance of healthcare. They are the liaison between the physician and the patient. Physicians can't always be with the patients, so the registered nurses have to communicate the information between the patient and the physician. They help facilitate the transfer of patients to home or an extended healthcare facility, and they gather valuable information from the patient to pass on to the physician. In the third photo is Jen, a registered radiologic technologist that specialized in interventional radiology. She wears protective gear such as leaded glasses and a lead apron. Jen is using a C-arm, which is an X-ray image intensifier that produces a live image on screen. The machine is located in an angiography suite and is being used on a dummy to practice skills for her profession. She is getting practice because she wants to become better than she already is. In radiology, the technology is always changing. Technologists must practice their skills in order to present the radiologist with the highest quality imaging in order to obtain diagnosis. Radiologic technologists are connected to the healthcare system because they are the stair step in a patient's healthcare. They have to diagnose the patient before the proper or necessary treatment can be started. Secondly, they monitor radiation doses given to patients, order certain types of scans and x-rays. They gather information from the patient regarding previous procedures and health history. Radiologic technologists have access to multi-modalities such as CTs, MRIs, and ultrasound. They also diagnose and treat patients with less invasive procedures, leading to less recovery time process.